Welcome back at 944, our continuing coverage of the aftermath of the remnants of Ida coming through our area. Historic flooding. We now know that eight people have died in New York City and six now, six confirmed fatalities in the state of New Jersey. We're going to go to uh, Rahway right now where Tony Yates is standing by live. She's on Whittier Street where uh, there used to be a house behind you right next to the river there. Tony, good morning. Good morning. Yeah, that house exploded early this morning, and the good thing is neighbors have been telling us that the people who live there, they know that that, um, that it floods over there at that house because it's done, so, it's done that several times before, so the people actually left last night. We're hoping that as this investigation continues that we hope, fingers crossed, that nobody else uh, was in this house. Now, this explosion was so powerful that it blew out and damaged the houses across the street and some of the houses that are at least a block away. Now, the person who lives in the house that uh, Rob Cantwell is shooting right now with the, uh, with the yellow siding, her name is Felicia, and Felicia is joining me right now. Felicia, I, I know you're tired. I'm exhausted. You're exhausted. We're glad you're okay. Thank you. But tell me what it was like last night. Terrible. Terrible, terrible. We had just got finished cleaning up the flood. We stayed up to 2 in the morning. Laid down. Not an hour later. I thought a car was coming in through the door. Mm -hmm. But this air conditioning unit must have hit the windows and knocked them all the windows out. The air conditioner unit from the house that exploded landed in your yard. Yes, yeah, so it must have hit the window and bounced off and the rest of the windows up downstairs and upstairs are all out in the door. Everything in the house is falling down, glass everywhere, but God is good. I'm mm -hmm. standing right here talking to you, right? Mm -hmm. so, absolutely, absolutely. So, We're so glad you're okay. So I can't ask for anything else. Have you guys heard or seen from the people the across right the street? That's, okay, so they're these there. people here at the um, green car are the people who um, live in this house, and so hopefully, uh, hopefully that's all of them there. We haven't spoke to them yet. Well, I know they're shaking. Fine. Everybody's, everybody's fine. fine. They're shaking. They've been talking to the yes. fire department. They've been yes. talking to the police department. We're going to leave them to take care of those uh, necessities because I know they must be devastated at this point yes, but I, I also wanted to talk to uh, another young lady here Jackie because uh, you got caught in some of the flooding last night yes I did um, um, I was coming home from work I actually stood at work a little later to you know avoid the storm and as I was coming home every street I turned down there was a flood I was trying to get a hold of my son and I couldn't get a hold of him and finally I did and over here by Mark a little bit down my street um, my car wouldn't move anymore and there were cars just stuck everywhere and then I was just so afraid and then my son came to get me with his friends and you left um, your car out there yeah my car is still there and, and you got out in waist-high water in waist-high water and then my son and his friend they got they brought me a jacket and then they brought me home and it was very scary it was very scary I've never um, experienced something like that before right. and you got home and your windows were blown out or, or you had damage at your house from this explosion from this explosion the only thing I had was like a whole bunch of paintings from the wall that just dropped and the glass um, shattered that was pretty much it I'm guessing you guys couldn't imagine something like this would happen. Never in a million years. Wow. No. This was very, this was very frightening. This is the second time this house that blew up. It caught on fire and burned to the ground about five years ago. Uh -huh. Then they rebuilt the house and now it exposed. So they just need to leave this blank. Right, because <laughs> it's sitting right here next yeah. to the Rahway River, right? And it's, it's still over its crest right. at this point. It's still flooded out. Yeah, don't build nothing else on it. <laughs> Yeah. Well, Jackie, Felicia, we're so glad that you guys um, are okay. Thank, Thank you, you so much for Thank talking you. to Thank us. You. Be you. safe. Definitely Thank be you. safe. So that's the situation going on on Whittier Street right now. You can see that there are utility crews assessing the damage over there uh, at Felicia's house. Uh, police are trying to make sure everything stays clear over here. And, of course, this family that just arrived to see uh, what is left. Uh, nothing but rubble of their home. Uh, Michelle, Ken, back to you.